Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the green zone and gained 60.88 points or 1.16%, settling at 5,303 points. Market turnover was 6.05 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 15.36% compared to the previous trading day. In terms of sector-wise return, the telecommunication sector posted the highest gain of 3.25%, while the IT sector registered the second highest gain of 1.34%. On the other hand, the NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 1.11% today. Bexinco Pharmaceuticals, Beacon Pharmaceuticals and Square Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector, Robbie Axia and Grameen Phone from the telecommunication sector, and British American Tobacco and Olympic from the food and allied sector mainly pulled the market up today. Eight insurance companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Carnafuli Insurance, Heidelberg Cement, Bangladesh, and Water Chemicals registered the highest gain while Lind Bangladesh, Global Heavy Chemicals, and Shiampur Sugar Mills were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of Unilever Consumer Care, Atlas Bangladesh, and Uttara Finance and Investments increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. For the first time, Bangladesh's annual foreign debt servicing, including both principal and interest payments, has surpassed three billion United States dollars and reached three point zero seven billion United States dollars within the first eleven months of the current fiscal year. This surge is attributed to the initiation of principal repayments for several major projects and the influence of high global interest rates. Additionally, Bangladesh is encountering substantial interest payments on market-based loans, leading to progressively rising costs and consequently higher interest payments. The International Monetary Fund has added 33 new conditions for Bangladesh in order to receive the next two installments under its 4.7 billion United States dollar loan program. These new requirements are designed to help Bangladesh address four ongoing challenges including declining foreign currency reserves, rising inflation, reduced revenue earnings and governance issues within the banking sector. That's all for today. Thank you.